Like I should probably like Oh it's starting! Here it comes! Alright Nintendo, bring out the surprises. <gasps> oh, they finally announced Overwatch! I thought they weren't going to announce it because of that freaking case they showed off, but it's actually for real. They actually confirmed it. Like, gosh dang, Game Explain, I gotta unsubscribe to them for spoiling every leak and whatsoever. And I know Game, oh, Game Explain's gonna be, like, uploading every small clip of the freaking, um, of the freaking Direct, which is kind of dumb why they would do that, but still. But well, that's cool. They're expanding Overwatch to more platforms because it's a highly competitive game. That's really good. I don't know if I'll pick up that game. So I was I don't think I'm that much of a competitive player. But I am aware of the memes. Nope. October 15th. Alright. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Where's Doug Bowser? And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. You gotta see these floors of the hotel. Alright, Luigi's Mansion 3. A good start. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme, unlike Looks any like the game's gonna run at 30 FPS. So, oh well. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? That's wacky. I guess we should expect some mummies. Harsh sands and booby traps. I'm still gonna and buy this game, even though I still don't have a job. But I'll use the Twitch affiliate revenue funds I have. You get the idea. May not be the usual amount. Although I like the stitching on Luigi's um, green shirt. It looks very detailed. Oh. Check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In Is this, this a multiplayer mode? mode? Oh, it's a multiplayer mode. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can oh, battle it out. Oh, it's a versus. Oh. Can defeat the most Is this a Splatoon 2 killer, Kappa? Poltergeist G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. This is going to be pretty fun. Get a load of I just hope they have more ranking game. additions if to it, because I honestly Kirby, didn't Kirby, like how Kirby, Luigi's Kirby, Mansion Dark Moon had Kirby, a lackluster Kirby, ranking Kirby. system or something. It, it was just play and then that's it. There's nothing special. Take up quests in town. And collectively, you and your team will pick four Also, counts. a new Kirby game. Which I think is like right. the 3DS game weapons, ported over. Get your gear and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So... Get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone together on I the system. I thought this was a 3S one. I ain't even play any Kirby wireless. games. Or even play online. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Oh, it's, Remember, it comes out to today. But I don't think it's free. This long awaited, recently released. Oh my goodness, more Weeb Arena. games. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character voice advances, mm. they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. 
Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Comes out next April 2020. Alright. That's pretty cool. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803. Only okay, that's a later, interesting art style with no Game Boy um, colored, unknown. not color, Game Boy graphics like. Investigator for the East India 3D. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard, hey, keep it PG, Kappa. <laughs> he said the B word. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Okay, later this fall. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Okay, they're gonna reveal more town gameplay. Little town hero. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed <coughs> by Undertale creator Toby Fox. What? Toby? Little Town Hero from Undertale? Nintendo Switch what? You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. <gasps> More Banjo Kazooie announcements for the Smash. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. What's it gonna be? And the release date is today. It's coming right now! We'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special I still haven't played the um the hero um DLC, I should do it. You're watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first. Is that a new character? Hold on. <coughs> Game and Watch. Super Nintendo. Neo Geo. <coughs> what? Metal Slug? Is he coming to Smash? What is this? Hey, it's a Ken ripoff. Who's who is it? I just don't even know. Like, I don't even play any SNK and Neo Geo games. Nope. They're all getting debated. Who's gonna be in Smash?
Okay. Who is it? Hey, cover! Harry faces the fury. All right. I have no idea who he is because I don't even play those games. Oh, it's Fatal Fury. Okay. That's cool. This November. All right. So. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. Can there really be only one left? Special announcement, what is that? We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. What?! Inside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. There's even more DLC fighters?! fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Dude, that leaves so many more opportunities then. So, what do you think? Uh, there's a still a chance that Sora could come to Smash, but segment, we'll have to we'll see have throughout 2020. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's All right, time to Link's the Awakening. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big. I'm also gonna buy that Nintendo game this month as well. Because I'm also excited for this game. Islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever Kirby, happens, the Mario characters and villains. Before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your Hey, Zelda Maker, we all dungeons. waited for so and long, Kappa. Alter chambers. That's gonna need the Mario Maker 2 killer. Amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. I'm gonna buy this Amiibo game. figure will be available that same day. And stream it, because I love that game. It was like my first Zelda game I've ever owned and played. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Oh yeah, um, the, the Dragon Quest game. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to Can't believe it went Quest this worlds. far to add in the 2D um, mode on this game. Stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Journeys on That's a mouthful of a name. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the There's a free demo, demo but Wii. I don't know if I want to play it cuz I don't know if I'm going to buy this game. I think my brother will. Looking for more fire They're porting over Tokyo Mirage oh, Sessions? Tokyo. What? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths. And the result is... Alright, there's even... Nintendo there's Nintendo another Nintendo. reason why the Wii U should literally die. Story when it's already Mario dead Mario enough with Mario Maker 2. Creative energy is so abundant, it's Yay, more anime weeb games, Pog! Which attracts wicked mirages <laughs> who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Oh, the new party Is members? That Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. I don't know want to buy this game because I already today. played through it and it was a difficult game, even on normal <laughs> mode. Welcome back 
But hey, there's another good reason why the wave should just die. 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens the Like honestly, if they could put over this game, they should put over Mario's Radio World for Christ's sake. Like come on. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Excuse me. Here our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles a Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. That's interesting. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally <coughs> coming to Nintendo. I think I heard of this game, Check but I barely, um... <coughs> Oh, you can cr you can share your cloud save from Steam. Oh, that's cool. So if you're like a PC master race and you have a Switch, and you want to play your saves on the go and, and on your PC at the comfort of your seat. There you go. And it's available today. And now for a message from Bethesda. Okay, up Bethesda hey, games. Fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year, oh, is it um Doom 64? The most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. All right. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Does that mean we get Nintendo 64 games on the Switch, Kappa? More than 30 action-packed <laughs> levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Introducing a brand new IP from developer Hi-Rez Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. That looks an interesting game, but I don't think I'll buy it or play it. Your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Next year, alright. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series. Oh, more Pokemon Sword and Shield stuff. We have more information to share that will shed new light. I hope they have another Pokemon, Pokemon Direct before release, but I don't know. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Galar region, <coughs> a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous Please, I see that Gerdo. I see Leafeon. You right. encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Big ol' Eevee. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. All right, Once they're better have a lot more customization look for male trainer because females got way too much. This time, and they better have like green colored models, shirts and clothing as well. Because Sun and including Moon and Ultra and Ultra barely had any green shirts and clothes. 
Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Hmm, that's interesting. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. Oh, that's and as fun. You get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Oh, that's so adorable. In the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Oh, Feel free to bring one of your so this is going to be better than the secret faces from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald Kappa. I recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Curry. Pokemon Camp I'm quite is curious also a to see. To cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. <laughs> there are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal to master. Okay, so they have a curry, curry deck, but not a national oh, deck, Kappa. Pokemon doing here? Oh, there's a new Pokemon. We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the gallery. Pulti guys. First is Pulti guys. <laughs> the Normally, puns. It makes a I'll guess I can't ask a pun. <laughs> tableware, hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with. But its is it ready? Is its body it ready? And allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokémon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokémon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokémon... Hey, a water flying type! We haven't had any of those since Gen it can 6. In its mouth. And, well, it they never had any in 6 and 7. Battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is called oh, that's interesting. New ability, Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look I'll buy that game as well using my PayPal fund that I got from Twitch, so. so it's Might as well. Year since we began offering Although Nintendo my brother's gonna get that game, I'll have to ask him. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Oh, the smartphone app. Uh. Then, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. SNES? It's called Super Nintendo. Yes! They finally announced it! With this, finally, classic the Switch Nintendo Online is better than never. Oh my God, this is gonna be very exciting for streams. Like stunt race hey, they brought past stunt. I remember this game. Oh my God, I I can't wait to play this NES game. Team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh. And the rewind function will be available from launch. All right. Here are the first games we plan to release. Dude, I need to play my Super Nintendo Classic games. All I still have like some to play you see through. On will launch tomorrow. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be able tomorrow. <laughs> we will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members. I thought we were going to wait until later this month, but tomorrow I'm satisfied. You noticed this, did you? Oh, the SNES controllers! The patent is real! We will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro yeah, controller. Yeah, the ZMZR button. This Super NES Although it's probably not that comfortable. Will be available for purchase exclusively. Okay, at least they didn't Switch mistype the, the word entertainment, because like last year, the, the entertainment mistypoed with an I on it for when Wouldn't they revealed the nice NES controller. With one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh my god. 
I'm super excited. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? All right, more Tetris, Tetris 99 9, um, enhancements. Looks like Tetris a new mode. Is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. <coughs> We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Oh, that's cool. Sweet. I don't know if I want to come back to play more Tetris because I suck. It's fun, but I'm like garbage competitively. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. All right, that's cool. Tetris version, including the game, DLC, and an Nintendo Also, there's a retail package version coming tomorrow as well. Available September 6th. Nice. Mario and Sonic. Oh yeah, Mario and Sonic, the Tokyo, Tokyo Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby seven. I still don't know if I want to buy this game. It looks fun, but I'm just not really into the Mario Surfing. Sonic Olympic Games. You know what? Games. There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Yeah, the um the They're retro um one style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top Can we that, watch the actual Tokyo 2020 Olympics in an 8-bit capo mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Oh wow! At the Olympic Games, Interesting. Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold, November fifth. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Oh, prologue demo for Damon X Machina. Okay. The free demo version. It's a pretty good game, but I don't know if I want to buy that. Download later today. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game, and. All of your progress can carry over to the full game. Okay, that's expected because it's a prologue an demo. Game, and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. I still don't want to buy this game. Like, I'm very picky on what I want to buy or not. Like, this isn't a bad game. It looks pretty good. It's just that I'm really not too sure if I get into it this much. Like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by oh, that's cool. It has online. your skills on missions. What happens with <coughs> your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. The Star Wars, oh, Star Wars. Is fun. It's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, Jedi Knight 2, is Jedi Outcast. A rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber. It's not made by EA, Kappa. Prepared to wield the full power. You know, EA sucks. Garbage company. The full single player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey the Witcher 3. Geralt of Rivia, Mercenary Monster Slayer. Your current contract. So I guess we're getting some third party games coming. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go, when The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions he are smacked that the horse ass. Wow. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then oh, a more, another Assassin's Creed game on Assassin's the Switch. Road. That's two action-packed games. Another game porter from the Wii U Kappa, even though it's a multi-platform game. Like touch control and motion aiming, coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Okay. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. 
As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Probably with all platforms, including like PS4, Horizon. Kappa, even though Sony refuses, no matter what. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. What kind of games? There's a farming simulator. Just Dance 2020. It's even getting a Wii release, which is still weird why Ubisoft wants to keep the Wii alive. It's so... I don't know. Okay, Farm Simulator 20. Nino Kuni. An NBA game, 2K20. Call of Cthulhu. The Outer Worlds. And <laughs> they're bringing Devil May Cry 2. Alright, that's cool. Oh, Vampire. I saw um, a stream of that and it's like, like uh, alright. It's an alright game, I, I would say. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yeah, new Animal Crossing stuff! <laughs> so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Forgot to do the snap. I'll do it for you. Hi, Tom Nook, you evil scumbag who wants my greedy bells. Welcome to Island Life. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island Life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support. I can't wait to get this game and stream it a lot. Like this will be my Mario Maker 2 stream replacement. For starters, we'll provide. So it's like a couple months away until this game comes out. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. The Nook it phone? I'd rather have that over the iPhone and the stupid Samsung Galaxy phones, Kappa. Needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. Like branches. Okay. That's become a bit more like Minecraft. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. I kind of think this was inspired from that um, island mini game from that Wii U game that I don't want to talk about. Although it's also like on this. new laser the Amiibo update. And with those, you can craft more items. <coughs> Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can Better make sure that log doesn't burn from the life. campfire next to it. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove as part oh, of Oh, selling weed. Ooh, if that's you illegal. Game currency belt, Busted. You earn Nook miles through the Nook All right, program. Nintendo's encouraging kids to go sell weed for, for like a small fee. You'll earn miles I see you, Nintendo. I see island, you. So be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. That's cute! Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. 
Back smoking, Kappa? Smoking damn 420 joints? Pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. I scrub gonna call it River. Snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. What? You can do that now? Things up in that corner of the island. What? The scenery changes. You can't do that in real weather. life, can you? There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. Oh, could nice! Enjoy living together and working together. I hope it's less crazier space. than the multiplayer mode on other games Nintendo has made. Internet connection, you can travel to <laughs> another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. This will be very the fun when I play online. Meant to be. That's a fun since it's online is pure garbage. Everyone and make it a lasting memory. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, Rosie, she's cute. and more calling to you from the island. Oh, you can catch a snowflake. I think you can in the other one. Oh, you can like make package. the road curve. Oh, I can't wait to design my town so beautiful. Oh my god, that's like five days before my birthday. So, how'd it look? Very There's impressive. Still a bit more time until the game launches. Yeah, you better get your um. Your developers all healthy. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. What is it? What is the final game? Xenoblade? Xenoblade Chronicles HD? What? No way! No freaking way! Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. <laughs> you know my crunk with the fin dish? Oh, I'm really feeling it! Oh my god, this is looking even more gorgeous than before. Coming out in 2020, or it, there's going to be an announcement in 2020. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward you better to keep your word, future. otherwise... That's it for today. We have some Thank talk. you for watching. Banter goes away, demonstration will begin short. Wait. Oh! The, the Smash character, that's right. I'll see that. Just I'm gonna take like an eternity.